Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about the seven benefits of taking berberine. So let's get right into it. Berberine is considered a metabolic master switch. It helps to regulate lipids, glucose, and energy metabolism. So it's great for things like high cholesterol, hypertension, as well as glucose management. So number one, insulin resistance and diabetes. It helps to reduce fasting glucose, your first morning glucose after fasting, and your hemoglobin A1C. Your hemoglobin A1C is typically the two to three month average of blood sugar. Likely it will also decrease your fasting insulin. Number two, hypertension. Helps with vasodilating the blood vessels and relaxing the smooth muscles of the blood vessels. So it helps to just kind of relax. It's like a muscle relaxant, right? For the blood vessels. Number three, high cholesterol. It's been shown in studies to decrease total cholesterol, LDL, triglycerides, and increase HDLs. So it balances out your lipids. Number four, it helps with yeast and candida overgrowth. Now there's so many people who use uh, prolonged use of antibiotics or frequent use of antibiotics due to sinus infections, UTIs, you name it. They do a lot of prescriptions for antibiotics. So a lot of people will get yeast and candida overgrowth. Berberine is shown to attack the cell membrane in breaking down the yeast or candida overgrowth. Number five, PCOS, or polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is a syndrome where there's insulin resistance in women and there's an increased level of testosterone. So it helps to manage insulin resistance and menstrual irregularities because most women who have PCOS uh, might skip a month or very irregular in terms of their period. Number six, SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. People don't realize that SIBO is actually the number one cause for what they call IBS. Now there's a test called a three hour lactulose test that you can take, and it will show you if you have an overgrowth of either methane or hydrogen gases, which is diagnostic of SIBO. Now there are other gases other than hydrogen and methane, but the test is testing for hydrogen and methane in the lactulose test. Now, it's been shown in studies to be just as effective as rifaximin, which is the antibiotic they would use to treat people who have SIBO. So what they do is they did a three hour lactulose test pre and post, and it showed that berberine was just as effective as rifaximin. I highly recommend people taking the rifaximin along with the berberine to get a better benefit or better outcome with SIBO. Weight loss, great for metabolic syndrome. Women who are in their 40s have the abdominal uh, adiposity or weight gain around the abdomen. They develop some insulin resistance and high cholesterol and triglycerides. It's great for managing the insulin resistance issues and leptin, right? Leptin is the, what makes you feel full and satisfied, so it helps manage all those things. Now, I do not recommend stopping medications or taking supplements instead of a medication, so you need to talk to your physician about those things. With that being said, berberine, I've made other videos on it with the antiviral and antiparasitic effects of berberine. I've actually made a three-part series on that where I go over dosages, timing, um, and you know absorption rate and all those types of things. I'll go ahead and link those videos below so you can watch those. But in a nutshell, berberine is the master switch. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.